Welcome aboard. Today we're talking about guns for young boys. Now, young boys range in age from approximately three. This little gem would be appropriate for about three to five to maybe six years of age. Why would that be the case? Because it has a very short buttstock. Normally, when you're considering what's a comfortable arm for an adult or a youth or a teenager, you're concerned with the measurement called length of pull. Length of pull is the distance from the center of the trigger to the top of the heel of the stock. On this Daisy Red Rider, with pretty much factory wood except for some add-ons, that length is about 13 and a half inches. An easy way to find out what the proper length of pull is on just about anybody walking on planet Earth is to take the buttstock, place it in the crook of the arm, and bring your hand up to the receiver. If your trigger finger manages to fall right in the slot where the trigger is, that length of pull should be appropriate for you. The next step to verify that is to shoulder the weapon. Now if it comes to shoulder easily and the sights fall into place, you can probably work with that length. You may though decide that you want something just a little bit longer as a comfort item. So here we go here. You'll notice that the trigger finger is a little bit further back, only about a half an inch, but it makes a world of difference when you mount the gun, especially if you're a full size type person. Now those basic rules apply all the way down human physiology to the average six-year-old. That's why a six-year-old would be comfortable with a little gun like this and not really be able to handle a much larger weapon like this because the length from the trigger to the buttstock exceeds what he can do. So you'll see them trying to fire their BB guns like this with the buttstock on the shoulder because they just can't get close enough to the sights otherwise. The gun's too long. Length of pull is too long. So when you're thinking about getting a hold of a toy gun like this or an actual BB gun, let's say like this, for Junior, you need to pay attention to just how big Junior is. Most of us who have raised children will confirm that the general theory that a six-year-old is smaller than a nine-year-old is smaller than a 12-year-old is reality. And in today's accelerated growth rates for the generation that's coming up, it seems like a six-year-old today is about the size of a nine-year-old back in 1955, and a nine-year-old's about the size of a 15-year-old in 1955. It causes me to wonder what the situation is going to be in two more generations. Are we just going to start out with four-foot babies and work our way up from there? And if that's the case, firearms toys makers will have to adapt their technologies to reflect these new physical realities. So length of pull is an important item. And the next thing you need to think about in terms of appropriate firearms weapons and toys for young people is how much does it weigh? Now a classic 1950s toy like this is made of wood and steel. That's why it survived all these years because it's made of quality products, not made of plastic. Many guns were made of plastic in that same era and they are indeed rare birds to find. Not a good idea to give to Junior because, you know, he'll break it. Guaranteed. This gun managed to make it through the entire saga. Now the BB guns, different category. These actually shoot stuff, so these aren't really toys. These are the first guns you teach your kids with. And as, as first guns, they have an important function to fulfill. The Daisy BB gun is probably taught more Americans how to shoot than any other platform or combination of platform you can imagine. Millions and millions of these guns were built from 19, well, prior to 1900 to the current day. And they're still favored because they're easy to use, they're fairly accurate for what they are, and they're fairly durable. They're not as super, super durable as they were in the old days, but they're still pretty damn good. So, when you're looking at a mid-range gun for a nine-year-old, a Red Rider is a really good choice. It's got a large brand acceptance, proven performance standards. And these guns are easily and readily customized. Now, as a grandpa, if you've got progeny, grandchildren, do you want to give them the same thing that everybody's got, or do you want to give them something a little flashy, a little better, a little special? I go for the better special at School of Thought. Now, this is a bare bones introduction to a, a flashy, not so standard gun. It's got the factory stock on it, but it's got fiddleback maple overlays on the foregrip and the grip of the weapon itself. And that gives the grip of the weapon more circumference. It feels more like a real gun when you go to grip it. This gun's also got a cast aluminum lever, 
which does not wiggle and wobble like the plastic factory levers do on daisy firearms. And the last major point on this gun is that it's got a fiber optic front sight. Now that little guy there is quite a gem because what happens with the fiber optic front sight is, as you know, the length of the body gathers light and concentrates it. So it appears to magically glow and it glows in the daytime or in low light levels or at night. If you've got street lights, you can pick that dot up. You can pick it up easy. And it's a good size dot too. The diameter of the dot corresponds very well indeed with the buckhorn sight. That little dot will just about fill that up so that when you get your dot level with the top of that rear sight, like where my thumbnail's at, that gun's on. And if you're shooting at a given distance and you've got your elevation to correct, the gun will hit, easily hit, anything you shoot it at. And <coughs> hitting stuff with BB guns is what makes them tremendous trainers. You know, people today get fascinated with the idea that uh, our kids seem to be obsessed with their cell phones. And if you read on this subject on the internet, you'll discover that cell phone usage, I don't quite know how it does it, but supposedly every time you take a selfie, you get a dopamine rush. Every time you open an attachment, you get a dopamine rush. Every time you respond to an inquiry, you get a dopamine rush. Well, back in the day, before cell phones, these did the same thing. Repeated the same process. You mechanically line up the sights, you find your target, you pull the trigger, you hit it. Dopamine rush. And you can repeat that process as often as you can pull the trigger. This is a good thing to learn because it reinforces constant thinking. You're always in an OODA loop. You're observing a target. You're orienting on the target. You're deciding what you're going to do. Then you act. And that is the cycle of target, sight, shoot, do it again. So, dopamine generators. Get the kids outdoors. Get the grandsons outdoors. Walk with them. Take them for a stroll around the lake, across the pasture. Why? I see a whole pile of offensive pine cones over there. They're talking all kinds of trash about your mama. Let's light them up. Big time fun for you and for the grandkids. Especially if the grandkids got a nice special gun. Now if you're a super duper grandpa and you got tons of money and not much else to do, you can get a super special BB gun for them bad boys. Or bad girls, depends on what you got. This particular gun is an older daisy. It was built in the Oh, post-58 era in Rogers, Arkansas. It's got a custom fiddleback maple stock. It's got a custom all-steel lever with a little bump to help you cycle the gun. It's got a custom billet steel trigger, and it's equipped with a high-speed high speed Cobalt 327 Super Spring. This gun shoots hard and shoots well. You can't buy that direct from Daisy because they can't make it. <coughs> Another option would be to take one of the smaller daisies, the 102s of the Bucks, do the same process on them, but keep them in the small footprint so that that six-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old got a weapon he can handle, feels comfortable with, and importantly, looks pretty damn good. Because when you're hanging out with Grandpa in the woods, you don't want to look shabby. Grandpa don't want you to look shabby either. Y'all should look like you fit. And that's the kind of thing that this gun will do for you and teach the kids some responsibility. Teach them what it's like to grow up, to be a man. Being a man is a complicated deal. Got a lot of things going on. Well, that's it for tonight. We're gonna hang up the, uh, the phone. I'm gonna put the guns on the camera, get a long lingering shot of them, and look for y'all next time.